Hey guys, Starwatch Media here at the Hamptons International Film Festival 2013 with the cast and filmmakers of A Short History of Decay, Brian Greenberg, Emmanuel Shriki, and Michael Marin. Uh, so you guys tell me a little bit about the film for everyone who hasn't seen it. Uh, it's, uh, it's a slice of life type of film where I play a writer, a struggling writer, who lives in Brooklyn and Emmanuel is my my girlfriend and she breaks up with me and at this breaks my heart and at the same time my my father has a stroke down in Florida so I decide to go down to Florida and take care of my my parents and my mother has Alzheimer's and I'm I'm at this crossroads in my life and I have to try to figure out who I am and what what kind of man I want to be yeah. Is that good? I don't know. I, mean, that, you, you wrote it, I think you it's wrote it. great. <laughs> I just want to say, I think it's uh, A Short History of Decay is uh, it's just a very relatable film. I think, it, you know, ultimately about, you know, we all deal with our parents getting older or getting sick. So it's relatable for everyone. It's a beautiful story. And I've got to say, there are magnificent performances fr from Brian and, and Emmanuel, and Linda Lavin as, as Brian's mother, and Harris Eulenen as his dad, uh, and so, and some of the other players in terms of the the, the other women who crop up in his life, and uh, his brother who shows up, and I just think it's it's a. Um, the audience was laughing pretty hard yesterday during the screening, so we've got a, uh, we've got a, darkish comedy on our hands yeah. here that people seem to really be responding to. So I'm curious how all of you guys uh, became connected, if you knew Michael previously, or you know what made you sign on to do the project? Uh, no, this is uh, Michael's first endeavor in filmmaking, or at least as a director. And so um, I read the script and fell in love with it, and it just so happened they already had an off route to Emmanuel, who we've been very close friends throughout the years, and we've worked together in the past on unscripted on HBO. So it was kind of a no-brainer. It was a great script, and I got to work with my friends yeah. and some awesome veteran actors like Linda Lavin and Harris Ulan, which you can just learn so much from. Oh, that's um, so brilliant in the yeah. film. Yeah. So. It was a no-brainer. It's exactly what Brian said. <laughs> it's nice to work with friends and, you know, wonderful to have opportunities to work with great first-time directors um, with just such a powerful script. Mm -hmm. So, thank you, Michael Marin. <laughs> You're welcome, Emmanuel. <laughs> Uh, and we had we had a great great time making this movie, and you know, as a first time director, you're nervous as hell going in there with, about all the things that can go wrong. And it, and it was amazing to have uh, a group of, of really really fine actors who were very very supportive and 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 very patient, and kind of came through for me in ways that I I wasn't expecting. And and to see those words come alive in in, in the hands of some really uh, tremendous artists uh, was an incredibly gratifying experience for me, both directing the film and and watching the film now. So I think recently we've seen more and more films uh, about Alzheimer's and about parents aging. I think people, uh, you know, with movies like Quartet are accepting that elderly community into the film community. Um, so for you guys, uh, what, how did you relate to this? Have you had parents that have dealt with this or had a friend uh, with a parent that uh, was suffering from Alzheimer's? Uh, yeah, personally, uh, my my best friend, his, he's losing his father every day to Alzheimer's, and um, it's, it's just really hard to watch him deal with that. And uh, for me, this was sort of a tribute to him. You know, it's, a, it's sort of a way I could channel his energy and put it on film. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, fortunately, in my personal life, I'm, I'm okay so far. Yeah. Um, I don't, uh, fortunately, have anybody suffering from... Alzheimer's in my family, but certainly from the perspective of aging parents or having lost parents, you know, just that journey of dealing with the people you love the most being sick and dealt a yucky hand, you know, I certainly have dealt with, so it hit home. I was crying at the screening yesterday. It just hits home. It really does. Yeah. 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 My mom does have Alzheimer's, and uh, when I wrote the film, the, this film is set at a point in very early, very early Alzheimer's for, and Linda Lavin plays the mother, and where she's very conscious of the fact that she does have Alzheimer's. She's in, in the very, very beginning of it, so you have her mostly worried about taking care of her family and what's going to happen to her sons and, and, and to her husband when she knows she's going to get further along. And, and that's sort of one of the sort of driving um, leitmotifs of the film beneath the surface. And I think one of the things that we, I, we tried to do in the film that is very realistic is 
you, they don't actually talk about the Alzheimer's. It's not obvious. It's there. It's just flowing under the surface. Uh, so it's not a film about Alzheimer's. It's a film in which Alzheimer's is just one of the characters in this drama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you know, I think it's so exciting that you guys are signing on doing indie films because, uh, you know, they're sometimes the best scripts out there, as we all know. Um, so I'm curious how you guys feel to be here at the festival with an indie film. You know, a lot of people know you guys from TV, so what is it like being here? I love it. I mean, this is a great festival, I think, especially for A Short History of Decay because it's a very smart movie and this seems to be like a very intellectual New York crowd, and uh, I think that's why they love the movie so much. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I feel like in this day and age, it's uh, it's more important than ever to support independent films. I feel like there's true filmmakers out there who don't get a chance to have their voices heard um, because of the studio systems and whatnot. And I feel like this. Th I don't know. I personally feel like there's such a watered down product that comes out of the studios. I mean, every now and then you get lucky, but I I, I gravitate towards independent films. I I, I love it, and I'm. I'm so happy that there's festivals that support that. Yeah, absolutely. And it's just so nice. You know, we were having a conversation earlier. It's so nice to have a festival where it really is about the film, about sort of the creative process and not, uh, you know, so what's being bought and da da da, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. And it's just like a real celebration of film, mm -hmm. right. which is nice. And I'm, I'm glad independent film is around. I want to keep doing yeah. it, you know, whether, whatever. Studio, no studio. I think great content is yeah. what we're after. Yeah, yeah. And we're I mean, we're delighted to be at the Hamptons Film Festival. This was actually the first film festival I ever went to, uh, probably 17 or 18 years ago when it when it was very new, and uh, so it's it's sort of a coming home for me to come out here with with this film at this time, and yeah, we're just really really happy to be here. Well, congratulations, guys, on the film. It sounds amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much.